Today, we are gonna be going on by far our biggest adventure yet. So uh, we are gonna be taking the Cyclops, which is carrying our prawn suit. We are gonna be going back down to the Lost River. We are gonna be looking for that nickel ore to be able to make more upgrades. And we're gonna try to build a base down there to do so. Like this, this is seriously gonna be insane. I'm really excited for this and it's gonna be a crazy episode. I've spent the, the last like hour or so kind of preparing for this, organizing everything, getting everything ready. And uh, here we go, dude, I'm excited. So we're gonna start off here. We've got a couple of things to make. These are new things we have not made yet. So I wanted to make them with you guys. We're gonna be making a reactor rod which is something that we are actually going to use to power our base down there. Obviously, our base here is powered by a solar panel because we're shallow enough that we get sunlight. Down there in the Lost River, there's not going to be any sunlight, so we've got to go with nuclear power. So we've got that. Um, we are also... nothing in there. What else are we making? We're going to make a, uh, a creature decoy here, which is obviously pretty important. And uh, then last but not least, we are going to have to go make a depth module upgrade for our Cyclops. So we're gonna head over to the Cyclops here and this is where things really get crazy. You guys aren't even gonna recognize this thing, baby. Here we go, all right. So first of all, before I get off track, let's just, let's let's go make this upgrade real quick, all right? So we're gonna come over here. Cyclops depth module. We're gonna go ahead and make this, we've got it. And then I think the actual upgrades are over here. So we're gonna go ahead and throw the depth module on there. And now all of a sudden, we are going to be able to go to a depth of 900 meters, which is pretty good. Although we are going to have to upgrade that further. That's still a fairly decent start. At least we're going to be able to get down there. And actually, you know what? Hold on. What uh, depth module mark two? We're going to need nickel ore and plasteel ingots. All right. You know what? I'm going to go back. Let's make a plasteel ingot just so we're ready for that. Because I feel like that's going to be pretty important. 900 is not very deep. I mean, we, we saw that in our last episode. So I'm going to go back. We're going to make a plasteel ingot real quick and uh, hopefully we'll be good to go. So this is, I mean, honestly, it's, it's kind of crazy. I've been trying to like think ahead. I'm, I'm trying to think of the next step after this first step with everything that we're doing here. So I'm gonna grab two lithiums. I'm gonna grab an ingot and then we're gonna make a plasteel ingot. The idea is, is we're gonna have everything good to go so that we aren't necessarily gonna have to come back here very quickly, but uh, we'll, we'll see how all that ends up working out. So we're gonna come on back over here to our Cyclops, and I'll show you guys what else we're working with. I'm actually, I think I should, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put this Plasteel ingot just so we don't lose it over here in this locker. So these are extra uh, power cells here. You guys can see we've got six power cells on this thing. Last episode, I tried to build a charger inside the Cyclops. What I didn't realize is the Cyclops is running off of power cells. So recharging a power cell from a power cell doesn't really work like that that doesn't make any difference so we've got some extra power cells here in case we run out of power we obviously just made that decoy so we are gonna throw the creature oh we you get three of them with making that okay so i guess we'll we'll throw this in this locker this is just kind of like uh cyclops the cyclops locker all right looks good to me We've got three lockers here, which are uh, all exactly, you know, what, what the doctor ordered. We're going to be able to go down there. We're going to be able to pick up all kinds of nickel and, and titanium and diamond and whatever else. And we're going to store all that stuff here in these lockers. Now for the prawn suit. So uh, obviously we want to be able to upgrade the depth on this thing to be able to go deeper, just like we're going to do for the Cyclops. But you guys can see the prawn suit depth module mark one needs nickel ore. So we aren't going to be able to actually upgrade the the prawn suit until we get the nickel ore, which we aren't going to get until we get down there. So we're going to need a way to upgrade the prawn suit down there because I don't want to go down and then have to come back up and then go back down. So what I've got is in this locker over here, we are going to be making an underground base. And what I have in here is enough material for, I believe it's a, uh, a multi-purpose room, a uh, nuclear reactor, and a moon pool. So we're gonna be able to, to use the nuclear reactor to charge it, which by the way, let's just go ahead and put the reactor rod in here. So that's gonna charge everything. And then we're gonna have the moon pool, which we're gonna make the, the vehicle modification station, which I think I have enough stuff in here for as well. So we're gonna be able to actually upgrade the prawn suit while we're down there, which is gonna be absolutely insane. I'm really excited for it. And then apart from that, we've got our sustenance here. So we've got a bunch of food and water and whatever else to kind of hold us over while we're down there. So we don't have to come back right away so i i mean this is like a, a mobile base what we have here we're going to be taking this thing down there we're going to be building a base 
in the Lost River, which sounds pretty intense. And uh, I don't know, dude. Let's just see what happens. I'm nervous but excited, dude. I really, I, I don't know what to expect. This is gonna be scary. We've got that ghost Leviathan that we're gonna have to get around in this big old sub. Like, I I don't know, dude. We're really, we're, we're shooting for the stars here, but uh, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Which way is the, uh, it's directly behind us. All right, Lost River. Here we come, boys. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and get down so we don't, don't run into our, oh, 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 we're okay, we're all right. Don't want to run into our rocket, a rocket thing. And that's the other thing is once we get this, this other stuff, we're going to be able to, uh, we're going to be able to, to, to build our next section of the platform, which we haven't done in a while. What are we, we almost keep hitting something. I'm not sure what it is, but here we go. We're good. Full flag, emergency speed. Morning. Full speed ahead. Excessive noise. Excessive noise, that's fine, no worries. I'm gonna do this for just a hot minute. It kinda wastes a, a bit of the power, so. Actually, you know what? Should probably just, probably just be normal. Dude, this, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, dude. Oh, we have so much riding on this. We cannot, cannot, like, die or have this thing destroyed. Like, I, I would be so sad. We haven't, our entire, like, life in this thing. It would take so long to recover from uh, from losing this thing, so we gotta be really, really careful. Just trying to sneak through this mushroom forest without any issues, without causing any problems, you know what I mean? We're only 500 meters away, dude, this is... Gotta haunt for him. This is scary. Just 415 meters away, we're gonna be building a base down in the Lost River. How freaking crazy are we, bro? Oh my gosh, we can go to 900 meters, that's good. That was a big mistake last time we were here, dude. Good, goodbye sunlight, goodbye everything. <gasps> oh my god! What do you want me to do? I keep accidentally getting off, what do you want me to do? Is he just gonna leave us alone? Our health is going down. Is he, will he eventually leave us alone, hopefully? Morning. External health data detected. I don't think he's leaving us alone, dude. I don't know what to do. He's way far behind us now. We might be okay. The question is, do we, do we get out and try to save it? Do we get out and try? To Bro, do we, do we get out and try to fix it? Give me a sec. Hurry up. Repair tool. Probably could have bought, brought some of our extra batteries. I'm just waiting for this dude to come back. Get in there! Oh my god, dude! Some systems need attention. Some systems need attention. So there's, there's still, there's, there's still something wrong. Damage uh, looks like on the right side. Okay, so that's the side towards, towards where he was. Dude, I don't like it. I don't like it. Espe like, oh my god. Are we good? We're good. We're back to full health. <sighs> I'm gonna save. Oh my gosh, dude. All right. We're going down. So I honestly... Where, where's this hole is the question we gotta we gotta figure out where this hole is I didn't know that you could you could do it like that That's nice that you can fully repair this thing and not really have to worry about it So the hole I believe is down here What did we just hit? 
And if you guys remember, we kind of turn the opposite way. So I'm going to try to get us turned the correct direction so we don't have to turn when we're down there. And we're just going to, we're going to drop this thing straight into the hole. Looking all right so far. We've got a warper down there. We do have a decoy thing if we need it. We got to keep that in mind. We're good everywhere except maybe the tail. Dude, look at this. Your boy's a good driver now. Now that I understand this thing. Just hit a little something something. We're good. Oh, 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 oh. We're good. Okay, so we know that there was some nickel fairly close. I remember finding one of the little ponds. We know it was, it was, was it in this one? So we're, we're going to stop by that first. Cause that, that's exactly what we need. All right. We're going to keep going down. They're in the little like ghost ponds of acid. Also, you guys said I should be grabbing ghost weed. So give me a second. Let's, let's go ahead and back out of this thing. We're going to go down. Bro, I can't believe that Reaper was trying to attack our sub, bro. That was so scary. Uh, you guys said I should be grabbing this stuff. Ghost weed, so we're gonna... Alright. Inventory's full, we'll take it. The good news is, we've got, uh... Lots of storage here. I honestly think we may need more storage. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's gonna fill up quick. I'm assuming we're gonna be able to grow this in the future, so I'm, I'm, that's all I'm gonna get. We honestly probably got too much. We may drop some if we need to. Um, but here we go. We need to go back to cams. The cams are what save us here. Okay, I think it... I'm pretty sure it was in one of these pools. So I think we're going to bring this thing out here. Hopefully these guys don't mess with us. We're going to bring this out like this. We're going to leave it here. We should probably shut off the engines. And by the way, when we go by that ghost leviathan, don't forget to let me know that I should be uh, turning on the silent running mode because that's going to be freaking terrifying. But yeah, we can we can hop in here, I believe. Enter our prawn suit. What's up, you little suckers? Your boy brought his entire army this time. We can do anything we want. Hopefully. I don't know if we can actually do anything we want, but... We'll go ahead and do this. We'll hang out here for a second, let our stuff rebuild. I... I think it might be in the next pond. I think this might be where we saw it. Or maybe at the top one. Bro, the prawn suit is a beast! I'm sorry I ever doubted you, baby. I totally doubted you at some point. I didn't think you were very good. Ah, oh, there it is! Our first nickel, boys! Now, this isn't hurting the prawn suit, is it? I don't think so. Drill nickel ore! Our first time getting it! Let's go, boys! Oh, I'm excited. Now the question is, where do we want to build our base? Do we want to build it past the scary monster? Do we want to build it before the scary monster? I honestly have no idea, but we're just going to sit here. We're going to drill this whole thing because this is our first time ever getting nickel. Dude, this is huge. All right, we got all that we can get. So now we're going to hop on out of here. Who's screaming at me? Stop screaming at me. We're going to glide all the way down. I want to see if we can... Uh, almost! Can we get in there? Homie! Ah, oh, we ran out of juice. Alright, give me a sec. We're just going to have to land at the bottom. I wish there was a, a better way to getting in this thing. You need like full juice and you really need to shove it up in there, you know what I mean? Alright, so we first first little river walk, like a moon walk, but a river walk with our uh, our cyclops there. That was good, or our prawn, I mean. And check this out. You can actually view the storage 
grab all that nickel that we just got, which is more than we need for anything that we know of so far. And now we can just drop all that in our thing. And then now, voila, our prawn suit storage is good to go. It's free again. Let's go check what's going on over here. We're back full health still. All right. Back to the action. Engine Turn the engines up. back on and we're going to we're going to keep on moving. <laughs> Got to be some good stuff down in this, right? Is it time for another river walk? Oh, dude, this is insane. The thing is is we we don't want to take too long. Like there there is a danger to this cuz yes, we we do have a lot of of backup stuff and like water and food and whatever else. If we take too long, we're going to end up getting caught down here. Situation, so we really we want to be careful and we don't want to be too crazy. What is this? Can we pick that up? Hmm. That looks like it's important, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna search around here for a second and see if we can find anything else interesting, but I there's there's three deposits of it. It's a weird yellow color that we haven't really seen before. I've got a feeling that that's going to be... That's going to be an important thing. So what we're going to do... Here, let's go over here. Let's make sure there's nothing over here that we can drill. Then we're going to go up. We're going to take off the drilling arm. Yeah, I don't see any deposits over there. We're going to take off the drilling arm, and then we're going to be able to pick this stuff up. So we got to get, get back up here. I would think you should be able to pick stuff up with the grappling arm. That makes sense to me, but... Maybe not. Right, so we're gonna hop out here. We're gonna change the upgrades. Let's take off the, the drill arm. Hop back in. Dude, this thing can do it all, man. Crystalline something, all right. I feel like we need to scan it, because I don't even know what that does, but... Obviously, we can't scan it down here, so we're just gonna pick it up for now. Got that. Dude, the prawn suit's a monster, bro! Got that. Is there anything else? Oh, this is just titanium, though. No. Okay, good. I was gonna say, we missed that, but... We're good. Woo! Your boy is quick with it! We've got a fourth thing here. Yeah, I I feel like I've kind of kind of seen that before, but I'm not exactly sure what it's for. So we'll we'll pick it up for now and, and see what it means later. Come back here. We're gonna throw his arm back on. Then we're gonna leave. We're gonna grab this stuff. We're gonna throw it in our locker. And we're going to be able to keep on going. Now, this is where things get a little bit tricky because uh, that guy right there is a ghost leviathan. And I, I don't know how bad he is. I mean, we took on a reaper leviathan, no problem. I would assume he's probably the next level up. He's probably going to cause a bunch of damage. And I don't know if we're going to be able to, to sneak by like we could normally. We've got a couple of options. So, obviously, we've got, um, we could Back go ahead slow. slow. Rig for silent running. And run silently and try to sneak by him. We also have our creature decoy countermeasure. I really don't know what the answer is, but he is he is right there, dude. I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna save and we're gonna try sneaking by. I think that's that's gonna be our first our first attempt. You guys think he sees us? I was joking because I thought he was about to attack us, but no, we're good. Are they, are they like blind and they can only hear things? Don't run into the wall, Trev. I don't want to breathe. I don't want to sp Oh sh We hit the wall. 
Bro, I think we're good. I think we made it. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Oh my goodness, this game is insane. Okay, don't speak too soon. Wait. Are we rubbing? We're rubbing. There's probably good stuff in these pools. Do you guys think it's safe to stop here? I feel like we're by his little patrol area. And I see some nickel. I see a bunch of nickel ore. Yeah, we're stopping here, dude. Engine powering down. Engine's offline. We're gonna go hop back in the prawn, and I, I, I think we did okay. He's still fairly close, but I think we did all right. Well, this is silver ore. This isn't nickel, but silver's still really rare and really good. So we're gonna go through with this thing. All right, that's done. Let's see what's in this pool here. The thing that really sucks is that we can't uh, have the grappling arm, the 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 pickup or the the drill and the pickup all at the same time. I would like to have all of those if possible, but I don't think it is. Although it looks like we got some more interesting stuff here. What is this? Copper ore? Dude, I feel like copper's kind of rare. Like, it's, it's... We just don't spend that much time in the shallows to get copper. Copper's, we, we've been running low on it, so we're gonna grab this as well. Dude, we are actually gonna run out of space for all the stuff that we're getting here. I, I, we have a bunch of silver, a bunch of copper. Obviously, we got that nickel at the start. I haven't been able to find another one. So, uh, I just had to drill a titanium deposit, and now we're drilling a, a quartz deposit. And we're gonna make more lockers. The good news is, is like I said, I tried to kind of plan ahead. Like we have pretty much everything we need. I think we should have probably brought more batteries for our actual like handheld tools. But um, we're gonna drill this quartz here. And then we're gonna be able to go up and I, I think we should be able to use our habitat builder to make new lockers in the, uh, in the Cyclops. So that's, it's crazy, dude. It's crazy how far we've come. I remember getting scared of, of the freaking whatever they are, the little dog thingies that like the scrap metal and the shallows. Do you guys remember all that? And then now we're down here drilling away at our prawn suit. Like, it's just, it's cool to see how far this game has come. So what we're going to do here is let's, um, we're going to grab all the quartz and titanium that we got. Let's just actually go ahead and grab everything. We aren't gonna be able to grab everything. It's serious though, look at this. All that's filled. This is just about filled with copper and, and silver. It's now filled and now we're gonna be moving into this one, which is insane. But now we're gonna be able to take our habitat builder. Let's go ahead and switch to that. Let's grab some floor lockers here. And we're gonna, we're gonna set up three on the other side. I'm gonna try to get it in the same spot. So just like this. We'll put one there. Put one there. And then we'll put one there. Dude, we're gonna have to go back home just to get more, more space for everything. Are we gonna be able to, ah, oh, shoot. We can't make that, we can't make that turn. Seek fluid intake immediately. Put one up here. Maybe. I saw it for half a second. Now we can't. All right, that's fine. Whatever. All right, let's go ahead and grab. Uh, let's grab the rest of what's in here. We're gonna dump everything else off into this third locker. So we have three and a half of six lockers filled already, or of uh, five lockers. I'm sorry. And we we we've barely been down here. We're gonna have to go to our our sustenance area. We're gonna need some uh, some food, and we've got water. Vital signs stabilizing. So we've got that. Grab one of these. Dude, we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to stay down here for as long as I thought. I'm gonna be honest. We're gonna have to find a way to grow crops and stuff down here, cause this our food and stuff is going quick. Also, hold on a second. Is this real? 26 20 No! We gotta get out of here, dude. What Bro, we gotta go. 24% what? We didn't 
We didn't get to build our base and stuff, but dude, no freaking way. We've still got Silent running on. Oh God, he's right there. We gotta look on the cams. Dude, does Silent running just like zap your battery or what? We're, I just realized that we didn't bring what we, oh no, dude. We didn't bring what we need for, for, um, for, for power cell chargers. We probably could have charged our power cells off of the, uh, the reactor in our, our base that we're going to build, but we don't, we're going <laughs> to, we're going to run out of freaking juice, bro. Are you serious? We're at 19%. Oh my gosh, dude, this, this game is, is kind of hard sometimes. You really got to think about what we're doing. I think it's a mix of, hold on, let's, let's actually, let's turn off the silent running now. The head started. And normal, normal speed. We'll see what happens. But I think it's a mix of charging our, our, what's it called? Our prawn suit. I don't think that's helping. The fact that we constantly have to charge it. And then also... We were silent running for that entire time. I think that's why our power dropped so much. That is crazy. So we're going to have to make a lot more power cells. I brought three as backups. Obviously, three is not going to be enough. And then uh, bring the stuff for power cell chargers to actually make, you know, make power while we're down here. Yeah, dude, that's what it was. Because, I mean, now we're at 18%. We're, at we're, we're flying, dude. We're good. We're not wasting any power. I mean, you know, it's, it's going down very, very slowly, but dude, that, I think the silent running straight zapped our battery. Let's test it here. We're going to go for silent running. 16. Maybe if we go slow, or I feel like, I feel like going faster would use more. Fit, yeah, dude, that's what it is. The silent running takes so much juice. We're gonna have to be more aware of that next time. Warper over there on our right. Dude, I'm just trying to get out of here. Check our cams. Make sure we're good back there, we are. We're good, dude. I mean, we we made it. I feel like we did a really good job. We. We made it out. I'm just trying not to get attacked by a reaper on the way out of here, dude. Holy cow. We made it. We did our thing. It's just we didn't come. We didn't We didn't know enough about the sub. We weren't really prepared enough. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. But we got a lot of new stuff. So we're going to be able to go back. We're going to be able to regroup. I'm going to make some more power cells and everything so we're more prepared for next time. We're going to get some more power cell chargers, all the, the materials for that, so we can build that down in our base. We'll probably build our base in the next episode. But we can also build the next section of the uh, the rockets. We can we can build the, uh, the next depth module for our uh, prawn suit and uh, quite a few other things. So even though it was a little bit unfortunate there towards the end, I feel like we did a, uh, a pretty a pretty bang up job there. That was that was solid, dude. Bro, we have almost made it back to base and we've only used like two or two and a half percent power. That is crazy how much the silent running affects it. So we, we've got to be careful with that. We've got to make sure we run through and then once we're past him, we turn it off. Because I think we just had the sub sitting there running silent running while we were down in the prawn suit messing around and whatever else. So I think that's what really messed us up. So next time we'll, we'll make sure we have more backups. I feel like we should have at least six in reserve just in case we can have a full a full power swap. We're going to have probably a little bit more food and water. I do feel like we were starting to run a little bit low on food and water, so we're going to make sure we've got more of that. But uh, overall, I feel like we've got a pretty good plan. We just came up a little bit short, but it's honestly, it's good to get back because we can, we can upgrade our, our base and our prawn suit and everything else without having to worry about it. Not to mention, we had already pretty much filled all of this. So actually, I, I, think, I think this was smart. I really, really do. I think we did a good job here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab two titanium and then I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab these. I don't know if we need all of these, but I'm gonna go set this up as a, uh, a little garden down here. So we're gonna, we're gonna come on over this way. We're gonna set up a new garden. Let's go ahead and do, we need an exterior 
row bed. Go ahead and set it up right like that. And then I'm gonna see, nice. So we're gonna throw those in there, we can get rid of this. And now we've got that growing, I'm not sure what that's for, but like I said, I saw somebody say that I, I was gonna need ghost weed at some point, so we've got that going on. Now we're gonna come back up, we're gonna have the tedious task of, uh, of moving all of this stuff over into our base. And I think we're gonna have to build a new multi-purpose room, dude. I, I, I think we're, I, I don't think we're gonna have enough lockers to take care of all this stuff. Before I forget, because these take time, we are gonna unload all these power cells. Dude, this is rough. All of these guys were on 0%. Oh my goodness. 69, <laughs> zero, zero. We were running on our last power cell, dude. That's, that's a little bit scary. We've got our chargers in here, which again, we're gonna have to get some, uh, some materials to make more of these when we make our base down in the, the depths of the underworld down there. All right, guys, we are just about ready to go. So uh, I'm gonna grab some gel sack seeds here and then we need two of these. We're gonna replant the seeds that we don't need. Or we're gonna replant them and then drop the ones we don't need. All right, looks good to me. And uh, dude, we're, we're just about good to go. This is insane. So let me show you guys the base first, I guess. This is the, the huge part. I have added on another multi-purpose room. So you guys can go through here. This is our storage room, completely lined with lockers. You guys can see we even have some extra lockers so far that aren't getting used. So we're gonna, gonna save room for the future since obviously we're getting lots and lots of stuff now. We've got the, the rest of our power cells charging here. This is our second thing here. So we've, we've just got a filtration machine and a bed back here. Obviously we're gonna put more lockers and windows and stuff at some point. But uh, yeah, we had to make more space in our base, dude. This is absolutely insane. So we've got all that. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna go on over to, actually, you know what? Let's, let's go over here first. This I'm really excited about. We're gonna have a depth module upgrade for both the Cyclops and for the prawn suit. So we're gonna go in here, prawn suit, depth module mark one. So we're gonna go ahead and make that thing. We've got that now, looks good. Let's go ahead and drop down. We're gonna go back over into our Cyclops here. Welcome up. We just picked up those extra power Welcome cells. So we are, we are fully kitted out. We are fully good to go, 100% charged up to get back out there. So we're gonna put one there and one there. Uh, then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna put our new upgrade on our uh, on our prawn suit. We're gonna have to come back here. We're gonna have to make uh, two era gels, and then we should have everything we need because we got the nickel and everything. Is it on the modification station? Cyclops upgrades depth module mark two. Boom! There it is, boys. So we're gonna be upgrading this. Okay, give me a second. We're gonna come back over here. So yeah, our prawn suit can now go to 1300. I'm assuming this is gonna take the Cyclops to at least 1300, maybe more. I don't know, we'll see. Let's go ahead and apply this thing. 1300 meters, let's go boys, dude, that is sick. So now we're gonna be able to get deeper than we ever have before, which is obviously pretty exciting. And we are gonna be going over here to our Neptune because we've got what we need for the thrusters, baby. Oh my goodness. The sun is setting right now, I believe. Yeah, it's setting over there. So let's go ahead and hurry up and do this. We're gonna come over to our upgrade station. We're gonna construct the thrusters. And there it is, boys. The next step of our rocket is complete. There's still a lot left to do here on the planet before we're entirely ready to take off. I mean, we're still infected and everything, but uh, bro, this is insane. Got our little busy worker robots making these thrusters. Bro, this looks so nuts. Oh my gosh. Bro, this is crazy. So now we have, uh, we only have two more steps to go on the rockets, I'm pretty sure. Let's see what our next thing is. I don't think we're nearly ready for it. We need plasteel ingots, crystalline sulfur, which we actually picked up in this episode, kyanite, and an ion power cell times two. No clue what any of those things are, but, uh, we're making progress, boys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. It was absolutely insane. I had a lot of fun. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. We're going to go even deeper than we've already been. I'll see you guys there. Peace out.